Hello YouTube and welcome to our 46 Unity 3D tutorial and in this tutorial it isn't going to be such as a suggestion because I don't know I don't think anybody suggested it but um, this is something I thought would be really cool for our game so I was recently watching the trailer for the new game Dishonored um, and I saw that you can slow down time and I thought wow I have to have that so I sat there looked at my computer typed it it worked so we're gonna put it in I've added a few extras to it so it'll be cool and um, there's no current sound effect for it and um, the sound effect what I wanted for it was something like um, this is gonna sound really bad but and then when you're in it it's like like so we're not having to slow everything down and then it'll go and then come back in and it'll be super fast again Um I also wanted it so because when we slow the game down everything gets slowed down except sound so sound is still fluent, but particles will slow down, cars will slow down, gravity, physics, everything, including our character, which I didn't want. I, I wanted him to move the exact same as he did. So I also added a bit of code into our movement, which when the time is slow, he's fast. But when the s time's fast, he's normal or slow, if you like. So this is really, really simple. This I probably won't even go over 10 minutes, it's so slow. So first what we're going to do is open up our player fire. Oh, that was the wrong one. Oh, that's the wrong one. Player fire. There we go. And so in here we've got one is fireball, two is hadouken. So straight off we're going to add three equals time freeze. It's not freeze, it's slow down. So we'll call it slow down time. Um, we're also going to need, well, we could do this with a static variable, but we'll leave it for now. We can get rid of the function on st start because we don't need that. So in here we've got two and three, so we'll type if weapon number equals three. I'm not going to go over this bit very much, but when we actually add the code, I'll show you. So in here we're going to type, copy this, paste it in. Three, we've done this several times, three. So that's it. So we don't need that there, we can get rid of that. So three, three. Now this is the important bit of the code. Um, here we need to change this time of the whole game to make it slower um, you can do this but this code a lot of people tell you not to mess with too much because if you put this in somewhere accidentally it can make your game look like it's lagging really badly it kinda looks like that now because I wanted to put like a blurry effect like a filter on it but I couldn't fix that for myself so we'll have to somehow if somebody figures something cool out um, send it me and I'll gladly put it in and put put your name in the description so it's a great way to get people to look at your profile hint hint um, so yeah um, so the thing code that we're going to use the main code is called time dot time scale and this basically is it's always default set at one so one makes it run like this if you want to speed time up you will put it over one if you want to slow it down you'll put it under one but word of warning, 0 0.1 is what we're going to set it to. But change anything below that and your game might just stop still. Just completely freeze. I don't want to actually do it because um, if it freezes, there is a chance you will have to actually turn your computer off to be able to fix it. Because you might not be able to move your mouse. Just saying. So, um, this is really simple to do. We're going to type if time capital T dot time capital S scale lowercase t on that equals equals 1.0 because it's a float so if it equals 1.0 then what do we want to do well, we want to slow it down so we'll put time dot capital well capital t lowercase t time capital s scale equals 0 0.1 so 0 0.1 you'll see how slow it is in a minute so that's it we slowed it down but we also want it so if you press it it's on which is it is now but if we press it again we want it to turn it off so we're going to put else if time dot time scale. Now I've showed you this code before. It is does not. So exclamation mark equals does not equal 1.0. So if if it equals 1.0, so it down. If not, time dot time scale equals 1.0. Sorted. So we can try it now just to show it. But that's it. I'm not going to leave it at that because that's just bad though. But so that it's done for now. So let's test it. So we can press one. Oh yeah, we can move right. Press one. Um, the Hadouken's disappeared, so we can't switch to that. If we press three and press E, ooh, there you go. As you see, everything has slowed down, even the animations, which we'll have to speed up 
FBR later. So we've pressed it again. It's back off. There we go. We can move fast again. So the best way I could show you this would be actually this balancing thing here. Or in fact, Shao Kahn, I say Shao Kahn because this is hilarious. So watch him bounce, 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 E. Okay, it doesn't work on him. I thought that would have worked. Watch this bouncing thing. This will work. Underground, up. And slow down. As you can see, it is slowing much down. It actually looks like it's going up, down, up, down, up, down, it down the whole way. But if we play it, it just goes up, down. But if you play it, look. Up, down, up, down, up. See what I mean? It's really good. You can actually see so much when it's like this. So if we get into a car, this should be funny. Ah, glitch. It glitched. Well, there we go. So that's that. But I, I want something like... That's just giving the player ultimate power. So you can walk into a room full of enemies, press that, and then you just kill them all, which isn't very good. Oh, oh let me show you that. That's, that's hilarious. When you try to fire when you're in slow motion. Press 3. Well, press 1, fire, then quickly slow it down. As you can see, lag, 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 lag. So what we're going to do is fire like this. Look at that. You couldn't do that if you didn't have slow motion on. See what I mean? So it is really, really good. I love that bit. I just love it how you just go time slow. But what we want it to do is, because it gives the player ultimate power, we need some kind of auto shut off. So what we're going to do in here, in just in this one, we're going to type in slow down timer, and we're going to create a function called slow down timer, because we want it to s slow down using a time, then eventually cut off and just go back to normal. So function slow down timer, and all we're going to do is three lines. We're going to add a yield dot wait for thing. So yield wait for seconds so how long do we want him to be in the cycle we'll set three seconds so three seconds is really slow but don't forget it's while it's in slow down time it's going to be like this slow so one second is equivalent to 10 seconds when it's 0 0.1 so do we want it three seconds no we want it one so if you imagine it we're slowing it down by one percent 0.1 so 0.1 says well, 1%, what's um, 1 divided by 10, because it's 0 0.1, is 0 0.1, no, yeah, 0 0.1, which we just figured out. So that's like 0 point, basically that, that is 10 seconds. That's 1 second in real time, 10 seconds in slow down time. So we'll put that, so after it's read that, and it won't do anything else, it'll go, change it back, time dot time scale equals 1. So it should be like that. So now we can try that. It might actually go over 10 minutes. Because um, we need to do the player's speed and everything at the moment. So press 3 and we'll wait. And it should eventually. 3. Press 1. Fire. So we just wait for it to load and it should do it. There we go. So as you see, it's sped back up. So it worked. So what we're going to do now is open up our player movement. Movement. So in here we're just going to put an if statement right at the bottom belief all the movement script. And we'll just hash it, silent it out, add these hashes things. And in here we're just going to randomly type time freeze. Oh, I just put time freeze, I can't bother to change it. <laughs> and we'll put if time dot time scale. Well basically we can copy this again. Where is it here? Copy all of this. But I was going to type it out. I found out that if you know plus plus, if you press shift and tab, it goes back. Yeah. So much time saving that is. I have used that nearly every time now. So if time dot time scale equals that, well we want to put our player's default speed. So his speed will equal six point zero. His jump. We're not going to edit the jump speed because then it jump really, really high. But we'll edit the rotate speed. So rotate speed equals 3.0. So that's good enough. So we can copy that and paste it back in here. Ooh, I could beat 10 minutes. Ah, oh, no, I'm not going to. Um, 12, seven, 12 minutes, it'll be off. So what's 6.0 times 10? 60, 
30. But 30 is actually a bit fast, so I'm going to change 20. It's not even, but you should see how fast it is. It expects a semicolon. Semicolon, right there. Don't you love Unity's error system? It doesn't say error 1, 2, 3, 4, and then you've got like no clue. Again. Right. Go away, console. Let's see. Yeah, this is going to be off by 12 minutes. So, we can move around, and we press 3 and press time slow. So, as you can see, we move normally. Except the rotate speed's a bit slow. As you can see though, when it speeds up, we're back to normal again. The reason the camera slows down is because um, because we, we haven't changed it. At the moment, the rate that it follows you is um, the damping. That's the, ow, that's the speed that it follows you. So we'll obviously need to make it 20 and 30. But when we do it, that'll be amazing. It'll follow you perfectly. So that's it for this one. The reference script is missing. On what? The player health hood. Missing. That is our align script. That is probably not good. But so we'll just leave it at that. Yeah, we'll leave it. It's done. It works. So thanks for watching. I hope you like my suggestion, what I added. Um, it's a bit different compared to everything. But yeah, so thanks for watching. And beat 12 minutes. Yes. So see you later.